Welcome back to Cursed Mining. Today we talk about ETH POW, one of probably multiple Ethereum forks at or around the merge. This is no endorsement, this is considering scenarios. Also I think we should talk more about it. People see things too black and white. Pro merge folks are hyper bullish on the one side and the general smaller mining community is often either in denial about the merge or plain angry. Long story short, the talk of there might be forks around the merge is slowly turning into we will have at least two forks around the merge and first actors starting to position. One of these forks is making some noise as EVEPOW or ETHPOW around Chandler Guo and it seems 4D chess starts to get played. Poloniex vaguely announcing they would be listing the fork hand in hand with his self-anointed excellency Justin Sun pledging USDD, his possible unstable coin. <laughs> Take this with a grain of salt too, Justin is a crazy billionaire and always good for a meme, but also owns Poloniex, apart from the whole Tron madness of course. And do I think the asking for donations catchy? Maybe. There's not a lot more out there yet, things are ongoing as we speak. But what's the difference to ETC, Ethereum Classic? The infrastructure. Ethereum has a lot built on top of it, which will also be forked on the ETH POW chain. Don't get me wrong, tons of stuff will break. Probably a majority of tokens will be worthless as they are not backed. Think stablecoins, but also wrapped Bitcoin. More chaos with price oracles, liquidations and MEV bots probably going absolutely insane. But the argument that many of the aforementioned actors and also Kevin Zhu of Galois Capital makes is that there will be value after the dust is settled and the original or other developers will take over. That means ultimately in their mind it could be a layer 1 proof of work chain with tons of infrastructure and because of that incentives to build on it. Lastly compared to ETC, with forking the current state, the forks could potentially attract people that are already using Ethereum or of course invite them to dump. Do I agree with what is happening? Well it doesn't really matter. On the one hand, we will always find something to mine, no matter what happens. On the other hand, I am a daily Ethereum and layer 2 DeFi user. In my mind, if the merge goes well and you manage not to get scammed or buy into some hypes, there is no losing if you are careful. Maybe it is because I always had the mining perspective, but I always found the merge itself way more scary than most newer crypto or especially DeFi native people do. Scary in a sense of things breaking, not scary in a sense of me not being able to mine that chain ID anymore. It's not that we were not aware of that. Also a simple argument is, ETC is still around. This is the crypto world. As soon as someone thinks of something, it will exist. If there is money to be made, be sure dozens of versions of it will exist. So I don't even expect only one Ethereum proof of work for, but it remains to be seen. This is a good time to pay attention, but be very careful. Foremost, I want to say be more mindful than ever before of your private keys or your seed phrase, what you import and where. There will be a lot of scams. We could do a whole video about replay attacks as well. Believe me, there will be a lot of chaos. And personally, I expect even more delays of the merge itself. But again, we will see. That would be only more time for narratives and actors to emerge. That's what I could find about ETH POW for now and I wanted to get the info out there and get a discussion going. What do you think? Further reading link below as well. Cursed Mining signing out with a lot of 2016 and 17 nostalgia regarding 4 cores. This channel covers everything tech and crypto. Please subscribe for more content. Happy mining whatever you choose to mine. And bye!